Okay, this is just an Excel quickie here. Um, basically, you can see this is just a standard kind of fake budget. But if you look across, you know, you'll see the phone bill here, and then suddenly this month was really high. So let's say you want to make a comment on that. If you right-click on your cell and click Insert Comment, I can put something like um, "In-laws were staying with us." Okay, and you click off, it goes away. But you'll see how it has that little red line. And if we move over it, it pops up for you, so that later on you can come back and find that. Um, the other thing here is if you click show hide comments you can actually drag your comment down and it stays connected alright so again if I go to hide comment or show hide comments they pop back up okay and another thing we can do here is let's say that you know you've got a really long table here and you drag across and now I can't remember what this was out here alright one of the things you can do, if you click over here, um, I, I'm clicking kind of so I can see the top and the side here, and I'm going to go to Window and Freeze Panes. You see how it drew this line across here? If I scroll, I can always know that this is still January, February, March, and if I go across, I always know what section I'm in here. So that's another useful little tip. And if I want to get that back, I just do Window, Unfreeze Panes, and then it all just goes back to normal. Okay, and another thing that you can do this is that you can use Excel for that's not often seen is creating forms. For example, this is a weekly meal planner, you know, for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Saturday. Someone can go in and type in what they have for breakfast or lunch or dinner or snack, or whatever, or they can plan what they plan on having for it. Um, and this is good for people who maybe are diabetic or you know watching what they eat. Um, and if you go to File Print Preview, you can kind of see how it would look. Now, what I would do probably is adjust the margins a little bit, um, you know, adjust the paper size. But anyway, the other another kind of form that I used was for notes. For example, I taught students how to do Cornell notes, and that's basically just a a method for taking notes. You write the topic here, your name, class, and everything. Um, take notes, don't use this column at all, and then as you go back through, kind of write down questions or key words here. For example, if you're doing um, Civil War, um, you might want to do, you know, Lincoln was assassinated, you know, blah, 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 Ford's Theater by John Wilkes Booth on this date, blah, blah, blah. And over here in the questions, you might have. Um, Ford's Theater, John Wilkes Booth, things like that, and it's just kind of memory joggers. Anyway, the whole point of showing you this one is not to go over history or notes, but to show you that, um, let me see here, file, page setup, sometimes I'll set my margins for like half an inch, and so if I do a print preview, the students would have a page of notes like this, and at the very bottom they summarize their notes. And when they go to study, again, here I am going back into the notes, they fold it over on this line underneath the paper, and then they go over and try to figure out what these things are. How much do you know about this? And then they open it up and they see what's on their notes side. Anyway, the whole point is notes. I mean, is using Excel for forms. The other thing here is like a timeline. Um, you could put pictures here, or you could put text. You could put years, or um, you know, 1066, the Normans invaded England. Um, you know, 1086, William the Conqueror was killed, or whatever. You know, you can have all this kind of stuff on here, and it's really Excel is a really multi-purpose tool. Um, in fact, the other thing here is I can say, email me. And if I go in and click the hyperlink, I could actually tell the program that this is going to be an email address. And I can say, ask griff at gmail.com. And this is about your tutorials. OK, so now that's a link. And you can see that when I move my mouse over it, it becomes a link. All right, so there's lots of things you can do with Excel. And I'm hoping that these things are helpful for you. Um, enjoy your tutorials.